Today's morning devotional. Recreation and amusements. God gives us the good. For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom, and knowledge, and joy. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 26. Youth cannot be made as sedate and grave as old age, the child as sober as the sire. While sinful amusements are condemned, provide in their stead innocent pleasures, which will not taint or corrupt the morals. There is a distinction between recreation and amusement. Recreation, when true to its name, recreation, tends to strengthen and build up. Calling us aside from our ordinary cares and occupations, it affords refreshment for mind and body, and thus enables us to return with new vigor to the earnest work of life. Amusement, on the other hand, is sought for the sake of pleasure, and is often carried to excess, it absorbs the energies that are required for useful work, and thus proves a hindrance to life's true success. While we shun the false and artificial, we must supply sources of pleasure that are pure and noble and elevating. Our holidays should not be spent in patterning after the world, yet they should not be passed by unnoticed. On these days, get something to take the place of more dangerous amusements. No recreation helpful only to themselves will prove so great a blessing to the children and youth as that which makes them helpful to others. Would it not be well for us to observe holidays unto God, when we could revive in our minds the memory of his dealing with us? The world has many holidays, and men become engrossed with games, with horse races, with gambling, smoking, and drunkenness. They show plainly under what banner they are standing. Shall not the people of God more frequently have holy convocations in which to thank God for his rich blessings?